Hello guys, my name is Chamu and uh, I work here at Chalank Engineers. This is my, uh, this is where I work. And I uh, just want to give a shout out to, to Yaku uh, uh, for giving us the opportunity just to use the machines, uh, you know, in, the, in this tutorial. So basically the tutorial is going to be uh, on how to go on the CTEC. Uh, this is the CTEC, you know, my machine. Uh, so I'm gonna teach you guys on how to switch it on, where to check, and how to run the machine. And I'll go through all the basics program programs that you need in all your programming. So we're gonna go through uh, the drilling, the pumper, the pocket. Uh, we we'll go with all those as um, as uh, tutorials, you know. So we're gonna start. Uh, I'm going to start by showing you on how, how to wait to connect the power, how to switch on the machine uh, from the back and you come back to the, to the front. So just uh, pay attention and uh, I hope this is going to be helpful to everyone who wants to operate the CTEC uh, from the beginning. Uh, this is going to help you and uh, thank you. I'm going to show you on how to switch on the machine from the back. So we go on. Okay, here is where the main power is connected. You can see here it's off. So sometimes it can be plugged out. So you have to check the pins and you have to line them up. So if your pins are aligned, then it's, it's in. And you can switch your machine on here. Then uh, on the machine itself, you can, you have to check as well if it's on. So here is where the, the, the other switch on the machine is so you can check there it's off and uh, you can check here with, with the where it says on so that means your machine is now on then you can go back to the front of the machine and uh, switch on the machine from the front so you come here and sometimes use the emergency button so it can be you know pressed down so you have to Kind of twist it and lift it up. Then uh, this is your on button, so you press that. You can see the the light gave you the light, and the machine is now is now running. So, so it gives you some time to load. So as you switch on the machine, your home page will appear, and you want you want to warm the machine. That's the first thing you want to do before you start using the machine. So here it says F1, that's where your home is, so you press F1 here on the page. So as it gives you the, the, the home screen, and it says X warm, uh, Y warm, Z warm, and B, B, uh, B, B, before that there is like F1, F2, F3, F4, that's the number you have to uh, press here, or you have, you have to press here on the page. So now you want to warm the machine as a home. So you go on F4, that's X, Y, Z, home. So you press uh, F4, and you can see that uh, the machine starts warming from X, Y, Z. All the, all the movements are happening. And you can see it's done on Z, Y, still on X, so everything is warm. And when everything is warmed, it goes back to zero, to the origin. So you can see X, zero, uh, y is zero and uh, z is zero. Now you are you want to load the zeros. Uh, when you load the zeros, it takes you back to uh, the last uh, the last uh, uh, position uh, that you were uh, as you used your machine previously. So you 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 go here on F5. It says uh, load zero. So you press uh, F5 in order for it to load the, the zero so now you can see that all the all the zeros are, are loaded so when you're done with uh, loading your zeros as you can see that they all everything is loaded here x y z so you come back this is your back uh i also want to take you through the page here so you can see that uh, uh we start this is your emergent stop button uh, this is your spin or speed, uh, you know, uh, type of uh, control, and uh, this is your feed rate control as well. 
and this is your on button uh, that's only for on when you switch off the machine you use this button and this button that's you use the one you use for switching off uh, the machine and uh, you can see this is your your pad it goes with the numbers I mean of which it's one to zero to nine it gives you all the, the digits you want and you go here with F1, F2, up to F9, they all work according to it. It all depends on what you want to use F2 for, what you want to use F1 for. Mostly when you're on manual, you get to use each and, uh, and every, of, well, every one of these. Uh, and as you come in, so if you look at it, you see the P it stands for your point. And you go to the L, which is for length. Yes, that's for the spin of speed. Uh, if you're doing a uh, blocking that needs you no know, radiuses, this is like for clockwise, and that's counterclockwise. And uh, this is for coolant, and that's for air. I haven't used this, but the T over Z it's uh, for, I put it, if I press it on, uh, it puts my machine on sleep, you know. So if, I, if my machine has to run, a couple of minutes, uh, you know, uh, before switching off, so I just uh, put it uh, on cheap. That's uh, setting it on sleep. And uh, where these, you know, mixed arrows are, it's for back. If you press that, it gives you the back on the machines. So, I've taken you through this uh, pad. So now, our machine is still on warm. Now, to go back to manual, you press back here. You can see on the, the, this page appears again and it tells you that uh, to go on manual you need to press on F2 and you press F2 then now it takes you to, to manual. That's where you see the, the pad that, we, that I've shown you, the F1 up to F9, it appears here with F1 up to F9. So depends where, what you want to do, like uh, when you move, uh, when, you, when you use F1 up to F9. Uh, so I'm just gonna move my, my machine manually. You can see if I press. This is the remote, by the way. If you get to the auto uh, type of uh, buttons, uh, the X, uh, the X plus X, X minus X plus Y minus Y plus Z plus Z minus Z plus. So it's for your movements, and you get to this X Y Z on the remote. Uh, and uh, the multiple times how oh, this determines your speed how fast you want to move it so if it's like on if i'm going to move my x on times 10 you can see the table moves off if i put on one it will move but it can move, move slowly you can see it from the screen that if it's on times one it moves but it moves very slow if it's on times 20 it moves faster so I was just saying, I just wanted to move my table on, a, on manually. So that this is more you, that you need to do in order for you to switch on the machine, you know, to home it, and to you know to set it up for running. Before you use the machine, of course, you're gonna need it running. So I often put it like my speed of speed on thousand. Uh, you know, every morning when I get to work, I work on a day shift. Uh, so. Yeah, get in the morning so I have to leave it like for 10 minutes uh, running you know uh, while well, I'm just making my coffee so uh, this guy I'll put it like on a uh, thousand you can see that's my spin of speed I set it on thousand using the spin of uh, uh, you know should I uh, a controller and I'll press S this is your spin of so if I press S you can see that the spin of speed is now 10 so you leave it running for a while just to, you know, to warm your machine before you, you start machining. So that was all for machine uh, kind of preparation before you, you start the work. On the next tutorial, we're gonna uh, get into, uh, you know, I'll start with the font work, then we'll start with like a simple program uh, on, on how to do your blocking and stuff.